guys and welcome to another episode of Marvel Card Collecting and Investing with me, Ginger Man Cards. Hope you're super well. Apologies for the lack of content this week. Uh, I've been hit by COVID and not felt the best, uh, hence why well, I haven't been posting much. But there we go, feeling a little bit better today and I thought I would have a look at what's been selling in the Marvel Card land as always through eBay. A few parameters I put in, Marvel, 20 card singles, and anything over $150. And again, I've tried my best to fish out what's been paid for, uh, best offer accepted prices and things like that too. Uh, but yeah, bear with me. Uh, don't sound too fresh, and uh, I won't try... I'll try not to splutter too much. Uh, <laughs> so let's get into it. 2010, Marvel 75th anniversary. Clearly, clearly heroic. Uh, Iron Man, BGS 9.5. These are really nice to look at. Uh, there was a Wolverine also sold for around... Yeah, it was $150, so I think this one went for the same. Um, but yeah, not seen many of these about, so nice to see. 96 Fleer X-Men lot, sealed, 100 sealed packs of Marvel cards. Yeah, wow, nice. $170 for those. That's not bad. Uh, raw Vibranium uh, and the PSA 9 slab. I can't believe we've got to the got to the point where we're grading the, the raw, uh, non-numbered Vibranium cards, but yeah. That's what's happening. Uh, around the few uh, hundred dollars, I would reckon for that one. Also, Spider-Man from the 2016 Marvel Masterpieces. Gold foil signature in the SUC nine hundred fifty dollars. Royal foil uh, and numbered out of ninety nine of Gwen Stacy two five five for that. Promotional X Men movie signed by Ian McKellen with uh, COA as well. That's nice. Not seen that before. Must I must say six one six five six. Nice. I re reckon around the hundred mark for that, which is pretty cool. Nice etch card there. Looks kind of funky, doesn't it? <laughs> I like that. Hundred six dollars for that. Two thousand seventeen. Flit of Spider Man. PMG Red Wolverine. One thousand four hundred. Uh, that's numbered out of ninety nine. Not bad. Not bad. Nice mystique. Um, Rebecca. Romijn, who played Mystique in the uh, X-Men movie. Around the 200 mark for that, which is a nice auto. You know, you've probably all seen the Hugh Jackman auto from this uh, this set, which is pretty cool, and many people have it graded, which is very sweet. 2017 bronze of Carnage, 199 $251 for that. Uh, Black Widow out of 99 Royal Foil, $169. Please read, might be an issue with it, but I can't see that. Lots of action on these ones recently. These are the 2017 Fleet Ultra Spider Man manufactured webbing cards, which are very nice. Number out of 49. Um, this one's number out of 49, sorry. This is Web 7, $169 for that, which is very cool. Royal Foil Iron, Iron Fist out of 99, 175. Nice sketch there. Two. This is a cool printing plate from the 2013 uh, Flare Retro set of Hawkeye, based on the 1990 Marvel Universe. Uh, and this sold for $139, best offer accepted, which is cool. I like this. Very simple. Very clean. Uh, next up, a pink Wolverine from the 2020 uh, X-Men Metal set, which is numbered out of 75. Uh, don't see too many of these around, I must say. Uh, or, or any uh, kind of hit the market as such. So, seven hundred seventy-six dollars for that Wolverine card. That is uh, that's very strong. And a wick like the artwork on this Wolverine is, uh, in my opinion, one of one of the best. And again, uh, there's many out there <laughs> that you could probably disagree with me, but I think it looks great. Just just a really really nice uh, pose coloring. Just works for me personally. But yeah, solid sale there. Uh, another Spider Man. Um, Fleet Ultra Spider-Man Royal Foil, Black Tarantula, out of 99 $410 for that. That's crazy. $410 for that Black Tarantula. Again, Iron Fist, not well, kind of, I could say rated character, but 175 for that. And then the uh, Black Widow, again, that might be an issue with that, so that's probably where we went. Lower, this could well look in good shape, and it always pays a part. 355 for this 2015 Red Doc Ock. Uh, which is pretty nice in the PSA 7 40 vintage uh, Tops Marvel comic stickers they're still going well graded they're selling every now and then too $180 for that 
loads of annuals and again lots of people buying annual stuff like consistently every single day there's annual sales at the moment people buying the holograms and all sorts trying to get sets together of course and we've also got upper deck e-pack with the 2020 uh, marvel annual so you can buy packs on and boxes on there uh, which is good fun uh, i will be doing a live at some point <laughs> uh, so we can have a chat and hang out and discuss uh you know marvel annual is pretty cool anyway yeah, these sell, they were selling in the range of $115, best offer accepted, I think, for most of these. Yeah, Thor, uh, you've got the Loki there, and you've got the Vision. So, yeah, that's what they were selling for. Another Royal Foil out of 99 515 for Agent Venom. Really sweet. Um, Karma, green from the 2020 X-Men set. And again, I've said it before, lots of sales of these greens, people buying them up, trying to get sets together as always uh, but seen that more so re recently $605 for that Marvel Masterpieces Double Impact Wolverine Venom that looks nice, if that's in good shape that's a steal, absolute steal really is, these are beautiful 2018 X-Men Fleet Object X-Men of Hope, really nice blue there numbered out of 49, oh, I'll say Amiga 49 out of 49, $222 for that not a character that I know much about, must say. Uh, 799 for this uh, <laughs> 2016 My Last Pieces Gold Foil Signature Series 1. Very nice to look at. 202 for this Electro 2017 PMG. Nice sketch there of Mystique. This is the same person who sold the green Mystique, I believe. They have a Mystique collection, by the sounds of it. Nice premiere. Sketch there, two hundred fifty-eight dollars for that, and then they sold the blue by the looks of it. So two hundred two two thousand thirteen blue, uh, numbered out of uh, fifty two thousand two hundred twenty-five dollars for that. So they've done pretty well out of their mystique cards. <laughs> Fair play, uh, Nova in the SGC eight from two thousand fifteen set. It's going to be around the five hundred mark, I would imagine. That's where they've been. Scarlet Witch Molten at two nine nine. Um, you know, it's going to be around two hundred mark. I've seen. Few less vibraniums recently, but again, still selling. Uh, you know, every other day there's still sales, in particular the graded ones. SGC uh, eight of Ultimate Ultra Spider Man or Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Spider. You know what I'm trying to say. It says Scarlet Spider in the title. Two hundred dollars for that. Nice bronze. These are still selling well. Geode of Magneto from 2020 X Men Metal. $305, this is a short print. They look really cool. $305, that is solid. 1992 MM, beast of a set, many people's favourites. PSA 10, again, I, I really do believe that this will have, this set will have uh, a lot of longevity in terms of, you know, the grading is, obviously it's happening. Lots of people grading these, including myself. Um... I'm waiting for mine to come back still. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Oh, I'm going to get upset about that. Um, but yeah, I do believe these are tough to grade. 1992 MM, you know, first Marvel Masterpieces, Joe Jusco. Uh, longer term, I think this makes sense. And again, there's going to be people collecting, you know, full sets like there are 19 MU. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting one to watch that. Definitely. I really do see it. But yeah, this sold for one nine nine, best or accepted. You know, that's a base card you can pick up for nothing. But to get a ten, whatever grading could be it may be, doesn't matter. Um that's pretty tough to do because of the nature of these cards. Night five MM lows of thirty three three hundred and thirty plus twenty seven canvas. Wow well, nice. That's a good buy if it's under three hundred odd. 95 Venom Gold Blaster. Again, I don't know if that's confirmed as paid, so I was going to skip that. 2020 uh, Sage, number out of 10, $620 for that. Solid. 2018 Gold Foil Signature, partial tiers 1 to 2. Very nice. $264 for that. That's a steal. <laughs> and you're thinking, why do you keep sending a steal? Because it is. 2016 18. My masterpieces. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Beautiful. Nice uh, homecoming sketch. Another Royal Foil out of 99, Scarlet Spider. Uh, this is a blue skull. 
This went for $999, so $999, best or accepted. Didn't put Red Skull in the title, didn't put it was blue, didn't put that it was numbered. So probably could have gone a little bit more, but someone snapped that up pretty quick. Uh, probably, yeah, but they probably got more easily. 994, Spider-Man, <laughs> Holofoil Golds, blows people after these. It's crazy. $152 for this. People grading them, as always. I uh, don't know actually what that went for, whatever it was paid for. Nice Thanos, 95 Marvel Metal, PSA 10, that was $200 mark, I believe. Yeah. And load more PMGs. Wouldn't be the same without a load of PMG sales from Probstein. So we got 2013 uh, Thanos, BGS 9, $2,851 for that. Silver Surfer Blue, $2,555 for that. Daredevil, 2033. Loki, 1575. And again, those three are BGS 8.5s, which are very, very solid grades. So good to see. BGS, uh, BGS 8 Venom from 2013 set. Red, number 100, 2026. Rogue. Love this Rogue. 1400 from the 2013 set. Again, BGS 8.5 for these two. And then the Ghost Rider. $2,120 for that blue Ghost Rider. Solid. Night 3 MM, Human Torch, PSA 10. Uh, I wrote down in my notes here today. I believe, yeah, $170, best offer accepted. Um, and there's been a few of sales like that. Scarlet Witch, actually Scarlet Witch this time, $2,202, blue, 2013. Again, that's the first page. Completo, another Ghost Rider as well. I'm pretty sure that's the same. Yeah, it is. Uh, we've got Green Goblin, 1035. BGS 8. We've got another green from the 2020 X-Men metal set. Sen uh, Sentinels, uh, $1,075 for that, which is crazy. Again, these are around the 170 to 60 mark for these um, PSA 10s, 93mm, which is interesting. I do like the 93 mm as well. Solid. There's some really wicked uh, certain characters. Some wicked cards. Really wicked cards. Um, more battle spectre gems. So you got Thor. Thor versus Iron Man at 99. 810 dollars for that. 1,275 dollars for this uh, Captain America versus Iron Man, which is a solid card. Really nice. Hawkeye Royal Foil 232 for the uh, numbered out of 99. Nice. 2020 X-Men Metal. <laughs> That's crazy. So this is Ultimate Wolverine. Um, you got a pink there. Grandiose. That's beautiful. $520 for that. I think that's a solid buy. Really solid. Considering that Wolverine's out of uh, 75. And the Grandiose is nice. Anyway. And then out of 100 too. Beautiful. $520 for that. Cyclops SGC9, $710 from the 2015 set. $300 for Spider-Man. Uh, Mary J. Watson. Juggernaut SGC 7.5 from the 2015 set. $306 for that. More 93 mm Captain America Blue, 649 for that. Exquisite. Premier SSP. Well, it's a number card out of 15, this one, which is a sweet card. Uh, 200, uh, it wasn't 200, it was $120 best or accepted, I believe, yep. Uh, $1,431 for this Iceman. Um, 1995 Metal Blaster. <laughs> Love that they put that in the title, yeah, from the 2015 set. Uh, sketch card Hive's character that he collects. <laughs> Iceman. Uh, Red Skull, SGC 8.5, $430 for that. What if, numbered out of 50 of Hulk, that's a sweet card. Don't know if that's confirmed as paid, so but I would imagine so. That's a cool card, not something you see every day. Uh, we've got more 90 MU still selling pretty well. Sinister 6, $260 for that, PSA 10. $300 for Daredevil, PSA 10, nice. Um, we've got 1979, Mr. Wimpy. Super villain card set of 20. That's nice. Something different. I like vintage. I really do. Like a little bit of vintage. 
definitely worth looking into. There's loads of obscure cards from around the world that you can get that, you know, no one's really ever seen. So always one to look out for. 90 m uh, you again, Rogue PSA 10, $240. Again, solid. Really, really solid. More, uh, these are PSA 9s, 215 for that 6. So again, the PSA 9, you're not getting too much bang for your buck if you get the graded and you get a 9. But you get a little bit back. It's not too bad. Uh, this was ridiculous. Couldn't confirm, um, didn't see actual confirmed sale price for this, 92mm. Venom PSA 10, so yeah, ignore that, I would say. Um, don't always say that, but I don't think that's been paid for yet, from what I can see. Uh, lots more 2020 X Men, Metal Thunderbird, Banshee, Toad, all selling for around the thousand mark. Nice sketch there. Got a 2013 Loki uh, Auto, which is a sweet looking card. 799 for that. 2009 Archives Wolverine. Oh, that's cool. Pop 3. PSA 10. I would imagine $200 for that. I haven't checked that on. Apologies. Nice flare, Moon Knight. Did you guys enjoy the second Moon Knight episode? Again, if you haven't watched it, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. It's starting getting a bit, you know, a little bit more meaty. You know, the actual character, Moon Knight, I'm loving. I want to see, like, what else he can do and... Yeah, really good to watch. Like, I think they've done a solid job. Again, there's lots of controversy online, as always, if all these things people are like, I oh, didn't enjoy it. But you like it or you don't like it? I loved it. <laughs> nice SGC 8, 996mm. Um, $224 for that. That's a sweet card, isn't it? Uh, Preserved Amber, 175. Doctor Strange, 175. Not bad. Woman of Marvel Series 2, 24 seal packs, no sketch, $199 for that. That's a steal. Love Woman of Marvel Series 2. Again, another Rittenhouse product that's just sick. 1975 uh, comic book hero stickers, PSA 10. Of Human Torch, $297 for that. We've got more BSGs. That Taskmaster Deadpool is a fantastic card. I was going to say something else there, uh, but that's going to be around the 1,000 mark again. It's just a sweet looking card. These BSGs are very nice. Uh, we've got Spider-Man, a nice sketch there. Miles Morales, Henneman. 2007 Marvel Masterpieces foil bar uh, parallel base. Lots of people picking up these 2007 mm. 2008 as well is sick. Uh, but this is a Gambit STC 10. Really, really nice. Solid grade too. $350 for that. Very nice. Uh, I don't know what the best offer accepted price was on this, but I imagine 2000 mark. The X Men Metal Red PMG. Nice flare there, Venom Hollow Blast. And lots more, 92 uh, mm. Again, they're all selling for around roughly the same, same price as the Sandman, so around the 199 mark. And they have been confirmed as paid. Let's keep cracking on. 94 Flare, Moon Knight, PSA 10, 299 for that. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, 2013, I love these. Oh, you know, I'm a fan of these. Uh, Gold Parallel um, from The Greatest Battles. Written House Set, Spider Man vs. Rhino. This sold for $99. Best offer accepted. Numbered out of 75. Really cool. Nice Molten Black Panther. 95 Carnage, PSA 10. Very nice. Don't know the price, but solid. Another Geode. Avengers Infinity War Impressions Dual Auto, Dave Baptista and Pom uh, Clem Teef. $315 for that. 2016 Orange of Gamora, numbered out of 99. 248 for that. Yeah, BGS 7.5. Um, Anna Maria. Why did they put that in there? 7.5. I do like this card. It is a really nice looking card. I talked about it earlier, didn't I? Oh, I just think that's a cool rogue. Kind of like Iron Man esque. Iron Man esque, you can see. Don't know. Cool, isn't it? 
Red PMG Captain America from 2017 set out of 99, 1600. Carnage Blue, 1200. Looks undergraded in PSA 7. It's cool they do that. Looks undergraded. Gives you a little bit of uh, hope if you were to get it regraded. <laughs> um, another Dare, Daredevil PSA 10, 316. Night 2 MM again. Uh, and this is the um, 2D Silver Surfer versus Thanos PSA 10, 600, $676, 28 bids. Wow. Solid. Battle Spectre, obviously, sorry. Really nice. Uh, we've got a Cosmic Spider-Man from the 1990 MU set, which is a hollow in a PSA 9, $357 for that. Very nice. Cool looking card. Hard to get. In the good grade, 99 MU again, PSA 10 of Venom, uh, black suit, Spider-Man, sorry, $430 for that. 2025 for the blue Cyclops Raw. Uh, preserved Amber out of 175 of Spider-Man, 256 for that. Marvel Masterpieces, 96, Seal Pack, 350. That's interesting. They're going for around 400, 500, you know, around that mark, but uh, decent price. Gold Bullion of Wolverine, 189. Scarlet, again, Scarlet Witch, 2020 X-Men Metal Green, numbered out of 10, $4,703 confirmed as paid. Jesus. Uh, Silver Samurai, 1025 uh, 510 for Stepford. And again, these are all greens out of 10. Uh, really nice. I love this one. This is the 2013 Fleer Retro Spider-Man based on 1990 MU. $221 for that. Pff, sick insert. 2018 Fleer Ultra X-Men of Iceman. $222 for that. That does look like Silver Surfers, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, 2016 um, Marvel Annual Spider-Gwen. Plexi die cut again, two hundred and two dollars for that. Doc Ock, five hundred ninety dollars for that. Two hundred eleven dollars for the Spider Man. SGC nine. Metal. Solid. Two hundred two for Venom. Ninety three mm. PSA ten. Six thousand seven hundred ninety nine dollars for the Saber Tooth PSA A. Alpha from the two thousand fifteen set. Again, I can't confirm if that's been paid for. That's a solid price though. Sheesh. More MM and another MM. Uh, PSA 10 Wolverine. $404 for that. Wow. That's crept up big time. <laughs> PSA 9 of Gold Bullion. $159. And then uh, Raw went for $189. <laughs> Sometimes they like that. $231 for this uh, 2020 BSG, Cyclops versus Mr. Sinister. Nice, like that one. Nice printed plate, Havoc, from the 2016 Marvel Masterpieces set. Really nice, that. Uh, Spider-Man, Decades, 1960s. These are cool, a bit funky. $199 for that. Super short print, that one, yeah. Uh, 2011, that oh, was a nice sketch by Frankie B. Washington. Nice. Scarlet Witch out of 99, 179 for that. Loki out of one out of 50, sorry, for the Radiance, $284 for that. $212 for Doctor Doom, 90 MU. Marvel Masterpieces, 96, Jean Grey, Phoenix. Uh, and Cyclops there, really nice. If they're good good condition, that's good price, to be fair. Another Royal Foil. HGA custom slab, it's kind of funky in it. Not a fan, but something different. Again, 96, 83. That works out as like $10 a card, 83 cards from the 96 base set. I think that's a good buy. Really nice. 94 flare, PSA 9, just grading everywhere, isn't it? Nice insert again from the 2013 set. Silver flash of PSA 9 around the 300 mark, I believe. And uh, a load more cards that people are selling as uh, as sets. There you go. That's three pages. Probably uh, enough to be 
uh, going with that takes us up to April 6th so that's all right um thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this episode you got some value from this whether you're you know looking at prices you're looking to sell some stuff uh you want to know what's happening in the market blah 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 hope you enjoyed if you did please hit that like button subscribe all that good stuff down below comment your favorite cards what you've been buying what you've been selling what you liked most uh in terms of cards sold and all that good stuff uh thank you for sticking with me <laughs> i'm gonna try my best <laughs> and um i will see you very soon i'm thinking of doing a, a kind of the golden auctions the big golden auctions ending this sunday i will probably get up at 3 a.m in the morning to um discuss this and hopefully hang out with some of you other guys and um because i can't go to work so what else can i do <laughs> i can wake up at three in the morning and look at some marvel cards sell for ridiculous amounts of money so yeah love it have a fantastic weekend uh wherever you are peace marvel cards baby <laughs>